This is Pastor Greg Mayhorn. I'm glad you're joining us this week as we continue to talk about people relationships that we all need, people that need to be in our lives. And of course, last week we started this, and I never told you about one person who needed to be in your life. I actually started talking about the type of person you don't need in your life. And I think sometimes that's very important to understand because it helps us to sort through the choices that we all have over the course of our lives as to who we will draw close to, who we will allow to speak into our lives, and who we allow to minister to us. I was talking about Abraham and Lot last week and how that Lot was not supposed to be on this spiritual pilgrimage that Abraham was on. God never promised Lot that he would make of him a great nation. He promised Abraham that. But Abraham and his, evidently his sympathy for Lot who had lost his father, Abraham's brother, to death. He, he just brought him along for whatever reason, but it became a problem. And uh, Lot represents carnal and worldly people who though they may have met the Lord because Lot is called in Second Peter a righteous man but we can see from his lifestyle choices that Lot was not a spiritual man he was not one who really had his priorities right and it cost him tremendously and of course it also created a problem for Abraham and my point in bringing this up is uh, I think it's very important for all of us from time to time to be very honest and evaluate who we have allowed into our lives and why. What they contribute, what they take, uh, is this a God relationship or is this just something we're doing because we're not bold enough to put distance between us or we're not being honest with ourselves. Maybe we are continually hoping that something's going to be different, something's going to work and then it never does. We have to be very honest about these things because we only have one shot at life. You know, I um, have lived long enough to realize that life is short. And uh, after you live to a certain point in life, it's usually going to be the case that you have less time in the future than you have in the past here on the earth. And that makes it all the more important to make every day count. And to make our time here profitable, we must allow the Lord to bring the right people into our lives and we must be diligent to make the right decisions with our choices in relationships. We need Christian friends who share our values. People who respect the God that we serve. We all have to deal with unsaved people and we should witness to them. We want to reach them. We probably, many people probably work with folks who don't know the Lord. You've got family members who don't know the Lord. That's true for so many. But the people you allow into your life closely, the people you share confidences with, the people you share your hopes, your dreams, your vision with, should be people who also share your love for the Lord. They share your respect for God's Word. They share your hunger for things spiritual. Because if they do, they're going to feed your vision. They're going to help encourage you. And when you need some help, when you're kind of down, when, you, when you've maybe stumbled or even fell, they're going to help pick you up. They're not going to tear you down. And that's the kind of people we need in our lives. And I just want to encourage you today to, to take inventory. Think about who are those people that are that kind of a blessing and begin to give them more of your time if possible. Give them more of a spot or a place, a prominence in your life. And who are those who are constantly detracting, those who are constantly tearing down, those who are constantly creating problems? Well, maybe they need to be a little further out. Not that we don't love them, not that we wouldn't pray for them, not that we wouldn't help them when it's appropriate. But we need to be careful who we let on the inside. And the first person that needs to be first and foremost inside is the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you'll join us next week as we begin to talk about a list of people we all need in our lives.